Okay, here is a series that you can do three times, put it all together to give yourself a great all over workout. So just grab some light weights because we're gonna do a lot of reps. Make sure your feet are parallel and we go down like you're pulling up your socks and then push overhead, two. Make sure you're breathing. A lot of times it's good to exhale on the effort. Squat down, sit back in your heels. Now, face your palms forward and just go straight up. 20, 19, 18, hold your core. 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, it gets hard, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, holding on to your weights or you can put them down if your arms are tired, step one foot in front of the other, actually let me turn so you can really see, we're dropping down, 1, 2, 3, four, five, six, weight is in my front heel, eight, then pulse it down, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, shoulders back, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, let's switch legs, shall we, we go down, really important to make sure that that knee is over your heel, four, Five, that front knee. You don't want to go past your toes. It's really bad for knee. Down, just let that back knee drop straight to the floor. Six, seven, eight, shoulders back, belly button in. Four, five, six, seven, eight, bring it in. Woo, take a second to breathe. Feet together. You could do feet apart, but I really like to make it one, uh, one piece in my lower body so I can lift. Side, two, three, four, five. The more you bend your arms, the easier this one is. The longer your arms are, the harder it is. Harder it is. Five, four, three. If I count wrong, sorry, I'm blonde and I lose count sometimes. Hee <laughs> hee. Go front, front, two, three, four, notice how I'm not moving my shoulders, it's just going up and down, seven, hold your core, eight, my knees are soft, nine, ten, I'm breathing, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, Good. So now bend over. We're doing the back of the shoulder. One, two, three. Hold your belly button in. Nice and low. Looking right at the ground. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five more. This is a hard one. Four, three, two, and one. Good. Whew. All right, feet wide now. We're gonna go sumo squat. Just put the weights together. You can also put them down or even just hold on to one. We go down. Two, belly button in. Feel like you're sliding against the wall behind you. Whoops, not that far back. Six, seven, eight. Take it down, down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Burning in your thighs. Three, four, five, Six, seven, eight. Woo! We've got two more body parts left. Biceps, triceps. One, two, three. Again, you can have your feet apart if you're more comfortable. Always have soft knees. Belly button in and try not to lean back. 
a lot of times people will go back like this to get the weights up. Try to be really still in your core. Good, either one foot in front of the other or feet together. We're dropping behind for your triceps. One, two, three. Straighten the arm all the way to get the best benefit out of that tricep exercise. See, I'm getting tired, so I exhale as I push up, because that's the effort. I'm about ready for a rest. Seven, eight, and bring it down. And then put those weights down, walk away, have a glass of water, take a little break for a minute or two, and then do this whole thing again. As I said in the beginning, if you do this three times, you'll get a really great workout for yourself. It's part of your ultra fit lifestyle. Have a great day.